first of Rwanda College of Education, URCE, is partnering with Rwanda Basic Education Board, REB, in implementing the quality basic education for human capital development project. One of the subcomponents of the project is to support the professional development of mathematics and science teachers. To achieve this objective, a series of trainings has been organized on different themes, including the project-based learning people approach. People is one of the learner-centered methods emphasized by the comp competence-based curriculum CBC. About 122 mathematics and science teachers' tutors were trained in the first phase. As a requirement, trained teachers' tutors must transfer the newly acquired knowledge and skills to their students. When we visited the summer schools together with the World Bank consultant Dr. Ji Peng Tang, and the URCE and the REB staff in charge of the subcomponent implementation, students were given the floor to present their people project. This video provides the highlights of students' products at Fawigol's school Gahini and the group school in Notre Dame de Rude Dobjimana, which were sampled. Students are excited to learn and develop projects which engage them in solving a real world problem or answering a complex question. We did this project about robotics because we discovered that mostly in this world that we are in, we just need to, we need to simplify the work. And the work can only be simplified by those robots which we use to simplify it. Because there are some, some works which cannot be done by the human being. So, we did this project about the robots, a robots which can be controlled by the use of blocks and we wanted it to, we programmed it to come and make this more and set it in a distance of 20 centimeters. And then, after sensing this, it's going to go backward, and then after moving backward, it's going to turn the IO arm on by 90 degrees, and then move backwards and the program is inside. So, how did it tell you that uh, these things are here? We put a distance, like we provide a distance where it's going to make it. Oh, okay. No. It doesn't sense. It is not it's sensing sense. them. It's not sensing It's them. calculated this. So, the position of where they are is now, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. That one? Oh, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Dancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the that one we have. Yeah, right. <laughs> and it a black color. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, it okay. doesn't. Black color? Yeah. It doesn't like that. So, uh, so it doesn't like black, eh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, how can you apply that one? If you see the black, you stop. <laughs> you yeah, so like kids for fun. Like <laughs> this one is for kids, and this one can also, if it's made bigger, okay. you can use that one. Okay. No, no, I mean, I was saying. Uh, People in foreign countries which are affected by floods, mm -hmm. because the water detector can use to like detect the level of water, 
and then reduce the floods, and like okay. when there are floods in the house. Um, before we constructed this hardware, we first started with software. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yes. ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first, the first code we did is if analog with pin one. Mm -hmm. Pin one is, is mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. and this is also called the sensor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so if the humidity sensor is greater than 500, mm -hmm. then the melody will start. Mm -hmm. It will oh. like produce a sound. Mm -hmm. So and do you have the unit? Uh, how do you are we measuring 500 in units of uh, physics units? No. Because you are talking about the humidity. What units are you measuring? It will sense that it will sense that the level of the water will reach like to the five hundred on this on this center. Um, by names of Miss Ange, I'm um, with my colleague, still, our assistant, Musa Enjo. We are here to represent our project, which is which is called water water filtration. We are going to use. The main importance of this project is for environmental protection. As you can see, we have used this bottle and it is harmful to the environment. So we decided to use it. Another importance it is used for providing clean water. Like in villages, people are not able to get clean water easily. So we brought this method. We are going to start. <laughs> so what is that? What are you putting in? This is dirty water. Ah, dirty water. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to filtrate it? Yes, I change it to pure water. Okay, just so should to show to people say this is how it is done and then the town will show this is how it is clean. Okay. As you can see. Okay, but the one which is coming out there. Yeah. Yes. This water is different from this one. This is dirty and this is pure. So can it work? Can you get that water if you don't use this filter and this cotton? Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah, you can get this water by not using this so simple distillation. Distillation? Yeah. So, uh, what can you say about the, 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 the size of, of this and also this material? Vis a vis to what you want to get. Uh, so, uh, what can you say about the size? Uh, I think there's something related to the size uh, in uh, what you are doing there. Uh, the size of this uh, and uh, also this is cotton. Uh, uh, just imagine and say if we use the, this cotton. Mm -hmm. The water can come sure, but not the uh, That's why how we can get the the size of the material. Okay. Can it work? Can you do it alone without your colleagues? Yeah, can. But what what why? what was the, the benefit to work with your, uh, your colleague and the uh, other one? So, uh, I know you can do it alone, but I think there is also uh, the benefit to work with. Yeah, it makes my work easier. Uh, to make it easier. <laughs> we are representatives of this experiment you see here called distillation. This experiment, its purpose is to gain clean water from this dirty water. 
the experiment, this experiment helps people, helps many people. For example, in villages, you know that there is a problem of water. So we have thought of an idea. Why don't we take the used water or the dirty water and then change it into clean water? Then it can be used again. Okay, let me start by explaining to you the experiment. This is the round bottom flask where you can see the dirty water collected. And then this is the gas container which will prov provide heat to the to this dirty water in order for the water only to, to evaporate. Then this is the thermometer for checking the temperature. For example, can you tell me the temperature now? That Okay. It's noted on one on the boiling point which is 100 degrees Celsius, and when it, it reaches there, it will start to evaporate and then go in the condenser. This is called the condenser, and it contains a small tube inside where the vapor from here will go, will pass through. But while passing through, there will be there will be water entering from here, like there. It is entering from here, cold water, and then existing from here. This cold water it is used for cooling down the, the vapor, so that that vapor will change into water. Our experiment is, or project is, saponification, mm -hmm. which is an experiment of making the soap. So, so can we can either be hard soap or liquid soap, but for us we prepared in hard soap. So the requirements are oil, sodium hydroxide, sodium chloride, liquor, stealing gold, and even spatula. The main objective of this experiment is to make good soap with good quality so that we can use it in cleaning activities in our daily life. So, for us we use two different kinds of oil. This is sunflower oil and palm oil. I'm, on, I'm going to explain how we use palm oil to make this oil soap. So first of all, we took 100 ml of, of palm oil. That 100 ml of palm oil, we mixed it with 40 milliliters of sodium hydroxide solution. We steal that solution for 10 minutes. After that, we added 5 grams of sodium chloride. We continue stealing to the up to time where the solution started to be solid. So that solid substance is the soap we needed, this one. We can't use that soap immediately after making it. Mm -hmm. We have to let it for three days for it to dry. Mm -hmm. So in, in the way of keeping it, we use these materials. And we took our solid soap into these oval shape holes mm -hmm. for our soap to dry with an oval shape. Mm -hmm. So my fellow is going also to tell you how we prepared this white soap by using white sunflower oil. Thank you. Thank you.